And time now for our community update with Green Bay Police Chief Andrew Smith. Good to see you, Chief. And uh, we've been talking about all morning how there's going to be more information released regarding the death and pinch lung guard, the Appleton firefighter who was killed in a shooting. But your department actually handled this investigation. So, uh, what can you tell us? Well, we have an agreement, as, as other, a lot of cities do in Wisconsin, that other people investigate serious incidents like this. That night, we sent our entire crew, all our detective squadron went down there, and they've been working on it basically continually since then. That investigation is pretty much wrapped up now. They're going to meet with the family members today and are going to make an announcement about this terribly tragic incident later on this afternoon. Now, switching gears a little, we're going to talk about the license plate theft. You had talked about this previously yep. with us in the morning show. Um, are we seeing more of that, it looks like? Uh, it's definitely at a higher rate than we're normally seeing, and it is continuing. Since May 1st, 18 license plates have been stolen throughout the city of Green Bay. We found one on a car in Indiana when the state troopers stopped someone on the freeway. Uh, they had a gre stolen Green Bay license plate on it. Others have been used in gas drive-offs, so people get letters in the mail, hey, your car was used in a gas drive-off. Well, it wasn't a car, it was just the plate on the back of the car. Chief, how do you prevent, how do you prevent yourself from being a victim? Yeah, it's tough. One guy had his car stolen in a, in a mall parking lot, his car plate stolen. Um, you can get screws that uh, are not easily removable to put your plate on. You can keep your car in the garage uh, you know, when, you're, when you're parking it at your house instead of in the driveway or on the street. Um, but we want people to give us a call. If they see someone doing this, fooling around with the license plate on the back of someone's car, give us a call. We'd love to make an arrest on this one. Plus, don't you also want people to just randomly check their license plates? Because who looks at that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. Who looks at that? I mean, yeah. when you go out to your life, yeah. I don't look at my license. Here's plate. something unusual: when the thief takes the plates, they put the screws back in. Hmm. I mean, maybe they're just being courteous. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Know. <laughs> Either way, just be sure to check that stuff. You don't want that to happen to it's you. It's an odd one. Uh, another odd one is this odometer tampering. Uh, this is an interesting case, and you're asking victims of this who think they may have been affected to come forward. Tell us about that. Right. We think these fellows might have been doing this for a couple of years. What they'll do is they'll buy a really, really old car with a lot of high, with a high mileage, 200, 250,000 miles. Then they'll get from a, a salvage yard a dashboard that has a odometer significantly lower. So they switch the, the, driver, or the uh, odometers out, and all of a sudden you're, you go to buy a car and it's got 80,000 miles. Really, the car has maybe 280,000 miles. So they're making a decent amount of money doing this. Uh, we caught them, a couple guys in custody. We're asking anybody who, who believes they may have been a, a victim of this to come forward call our detectives. Now, Paul McCartney played at Lambeau Field this past weekend, and your department was obviously there for security. How was the crowd? Pretty well behaved? Unbelievable, yeah. Uh, I got a call when it was over, zero arrest, and nobody kicked out. Wow. Uh, not a soul. Wow. So talk about a good crowd, yeah. A few medical emergencies. I know the, the fire department was a little bit busy with, you know, medical emergencies have a, whenever there's a crowd that big. But really, it was a, a terrific crowd and a fantastic night from what everybody tells me. Yeah, and I can tell you that I was out there uh, driving around, and your officers did a great job conducting traffic, making sure everybody was where they needed to go. And as a result, zero arrests, no one kicked out. Nobody I mean, there were thousands of people there, so good stuff. And also, Chief, we're going to see, uh, obviously, summertime is rolling around the parks, people out and enjoying it. We're going to see more cops in the parks in Green Bay, right? Yep, we started the other day with our Safe Parks program. That is putting more officers, more of our, our CSIs, our civilians, in parks. Parks, uh, working with the parkies that they have just to make sure that everybody knows the parks are for all of us. Uh, we did foot beat in, over at uh, Fisk Park the other day, um, went over to Colburn Park. Nice crowd of people there, and we just want to make sure that everybody enjoys all the beautiful parks we have in Green Bay this summer. All right. All right. Good stuff. Chief Andrew Smith with the Green Bay Police Department, always keeping us updated with what's happening in Titletown. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Great to be here. We'll get to check your forecast from Chad Rathesburg coming up on Local 5 this morning.